I feel like there comes a time in every YouTuber's career where you get so big that you're unable to fly under the radar. Now, I wouldn't say my channel is big, but I'm at the point where I can't fly under the radar in the way how I used to. The last time that I was here in Panama, there were some young ladies that I caught on camera dancing, and they felt like they were a little bit tipsy. They didn't want to get caught on camera in that manner. Um, and they were. So they found the video, I don't know how. They got into the comments and um, started expressing their beef. So I decided that I would smooth it over and have dinner with them once I came back to Panama City. Now here I am in Panama City. Let's go see them. Honorable sisters actually threatened to kidnap me. She was joking, right? But she threatened to kidnap me and uh, have me uh, handcuffed in her bedroom for you know extended amount of time. I don't know if that would have worked out very well for her. Might have been into that. I don't know. So in this area, you have a lot of restaurants, a lot of hotels, a lot of tourists just milling about. Okay, this is the El Cangrejo area. A lot of people will go to Casco Viejo, but Casco Viejo is the old town. Okay. It might be actually a little bit more priced than it is over here. So, if they try to jump me, we're never going down without a fight, right? If they try to jump me. There we go. I see them right there. Porque we are YouTubers and that's how we do it. Folks, say hello to Yarita, okay? So, folks, if she tries to kidnap me, okay, you know where to find me. I'm stuck in a basement somewhere here in Panama, okay? Save me if necessary. Hola, buenas noches, ¿cómo están? Ok, quiero hacerles una gran invitación a un proyecto que he realizado con mucho amor y dedicación. Ha sido casi un sueño para mí. My sister is from one of the poorest regions of Colombia, just over the border, and I deeply empathize with her. So this is normally where I invite you guys to run down on my girl and visit her restaurant. However, since the filming of this video, disaster has struck her restaurant. Just to give you the quick and dirty, a jealous neighboring restaurant owner called the government of Panama to let them know that she was selling alcohol without a permit. They shut my girl down, allowing her to pay 1500 to get it reopened, but she doesn't have it. Now this is one of the most beautiful individuals I know inside and out. I can't allow this to happen, not without a response. I'm gonna get the ball rolling with a few hundred. Anyone who knows me knows that I have issues with asking for help, but for my friend, I'll do it. Hit her up directly on IG, I'll put her at right on the screen, and work out a way to send it to her. I appreciate it, I love you guys. You guys are my soldiers, I got your back, you got mine, and I love you for it. Thank you so much to any of you who can help. Alright, back to the video. Due to the wide availability of scoplamine, a common drug in Colombia, a lot of folks are afraid to go out and have fun with their boys. However, just over the border in Panama, it's not a thing. And because of the economic and safety issues in Colombia, you have so many young people who have decided to move to Panama. And for that reason, you have plenty of Colombian cuisine here in Panama. But I'm Caribbean, so you know what I want. Once we get our girl reopened, we're going to run down on her in the heart of the tourist district in El Cangrejo here in Panama City, right across from Novotel. Let's see how good it is or not. You ever have food that hits you and reminds you of your childhood? Yeah, this right here. 
Late at night, tourists come in, locals come in, and then it's a whole vibe. I guess that's part of the reason why some neighboring folks are jealous. But no weapon formed against my sister shall prosper. Oh, and this is the kidnapper. Hola. Yo, I would have to say for you guys that want to move to someplace else, right? You guys want to get out of the developed world. Coming to Panama is kind of like a soft landing spot. Okay, a lot of folks say that Panama is super expensive, but I mean, if you look at what people pay, it's not astronomical. I'm here paying 35 cents for the subway. Never in life have I seen something like that. When I was younger in New York, it was maybe a dollar fifty, and the service wasn't this good. Oh hell no! When you guys pull up to Panama City, make sure you support my girl. All right. So it's rather late now. Shirt is different. Let's see if uh, we can find a spot. Yeah, I think there might be like a little karaoke spot up top. I hate karaoke, but if it's a vibe, I'll go. This man is the official representative for Team Gringo. Sir, I salute you. The belly doesn't mean you're out of shape. It is a symbol of wealth. The dad bod is making a comeback. We're up all night to get lucky. Not with ladies of the night, but get lucky, whatever that means. Tipo Wow is always a vibe, but I've already done that video. So let's try something a little different. So for those of you guys that love Colombia, when you're here in Panama City, they have Colombian spots. Me 
en la desayuno. Mami es el motor, hay que dar ella un turno. Placata, placata, la baby está desacata. Nada de amor a Cupido, ratata. Placata, placata, la baby está desacata. Nada de amor a Cupido, ratata. Na, 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 baby, what a night. Podemos repetir whenever. So here I am, partying to the almost morning life with a bunch of Colombians in Panama. That's how you know things are going interesting. So I'm actually on the red light district side of El Cangrejo right now. And I am susceptible to uh, ladies of the night pulling up on me. So you guys are going to be my cover, okay? All right. If anyone gets too close, I'll turn the camera on her. I said the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Power of Christ compels you. No, but real talk though, this area is budget hotel. Maybe you can find some Airbnbs galore, okay? My spot is only, what's it, maybe 34 a night before taxes, or 33 a night before taxes. So generally speaking, what happens here, what has been happening, sorry for sounding like a broken record, because I've said this before in other videos, but for those of you who are new to the channel, you need to hear it. Girls come here from other countries, and they sell the cat for a little while, and then, if they've made enough money, they'll go back to Ecuador, or Colombia, or, or maybe not Venezuela, but back to Colombia. Meanwhile, they are originally Venezuelan construction here in this neighborhood is very much art deco Miami try your best to beat the heat hang out with the girls type of architecture oh shit I see two girls right there we are going to deviate see I'm afraid of these ladies of the night so I see some and I'm going to deviate Remember, you guys are my cover, okay? You guys are definitely my cover. On the right side there, you may be able to make out one of the young ladies, or both of the young ladies, but one car would whisk them away. So the purpose of this clip was to originally show you that there is diversity within going out in Panama. However, I got another idea. Not to get on New York 1990s, but why are you looking at me for? Here I am, alone, simply trying to eat my overpriced chicken wings in peace. Yet you accost me with your eyes. Yo, in Panama, I swear they see you long before you see them. Literally. I'm not paying them any mind, beating my, my chicken nuggets, my chicken wings to death. Yet they staring at me. You know, in the United States, we often are given the myth that you have to spend a lot of money in order to get some form of value. Or quality. Here in Panama, you can get away with not spending all that much and still getting quality. quality. <clears throat> Don't know why I can't speak right now, but that's where we're at. Let me show you this pool real quick. Okay. Alright, well, you know, it's not the real, but it's decent. Get a nice bottle, sit down with a young lady or young man. No diddy. Have a good time. That's all that matters, right? When it comes to hotel rooms, this is actually the best bang for my buck that I've gotten in a while. Okay, so we're here at Grand International Hotel. Only paid $33 a night. Amazing. Okay, wonderful king-size bed. Okay, you got your closet space, 
as well as your safe. I know uh, a lot of you guys may need that safe, right? Got a fridge, okay, television. There is no microwave, okay? There is no microwave. Maybe there's one downstairs though. And then you have a full-size mirror, right? And then the bathroom, which is encased in this foggy glass, if you will, right? Bathroom's cool, okay? Excellent water pressure in that shower. Amazing. Okay, if you guys want to make a reservation, you could go to your favorite, uh, your favorite aggregator, if you will, your booking.com, Zagoda, etc. Or you can hit them up on WhatsApp, okay? There goes the number right there. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this one. I got the anti-hangover medicine right here. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.